making me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the Craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. A certain transaction, hmm. Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first, and we'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of a city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before Zero Hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, is kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Well, you said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. From the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed ideology, and an armed faction to enforce it. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade of the center. Did you know that the city nearly burned to the ground in 1772? They rebuilt it all. Back in the day, I had a huge and massive well, and a workshop that Yes, a workshop! So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. My boy. You want more of the fire? Come back here! I haven't been able to slow down since Look, the enough. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their... F f f f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow! <laughs> Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney, and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... Uh, <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Step right up, my boy. Take a look and choose. The pleasure, my boy. Stop 
stocks are almost depleted. We've got bad season coming. And? Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own bets. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here. So you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here. And he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. before he pisses people off.
Get moving. Butcher is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people.
My joints hurt. Means it'll probably rain again. Who the fuck cares? What you need, buddy? You'll love that, baby. Could always use these. What you want, pal? Good one, buddy. You're always a king, but I can afford a poor harvest. First the drow, then the deluge. Stress I've never the believed the nightmare. Glad at least the bees have come up nicely. Because the bees were planted just right. Without you, we I wouldn't have known what to do. Why don't you move along? Now you know. Task. What did you hear? Lucas was found skinned, head to toe. Someone's probably using him as a rope. The more you do, the more work they give you. It was hard or hard. What? You want to run home to Mama? Observant you are. This will require. 
Fuck! What a bummer! Fuck me! Steps, then 16 more steps, turn left. Dodge the 31, 12, 72, 25, 7, 18, 9. At your age? What if there's too much electricity in the air? That is possible. I know chess. What's happening between renegades and PKs is called a stalemate. <sighs> Thank you. 
Sophie? I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You want <laughs> that? Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Shit. Great. some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. 
I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! should lead me to him. Hey, you find Birdie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. down without a fight. Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. All thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen, it's my birthday today, uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio, I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back! 
back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Uh, soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort. Aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. 
That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. <laughs> 